of manufacturing the mirrors for the Herma proceeded at Raytheon Optical, and Kodak carefully aligned the mirrors and carbon graphite structure, the prime contractor, TRW, and its team of subcontractors worked diligently with Marshall on the numerous other elements of the project, including the spacecraft system, which contains the computers, communication gear, rocket propulsion, and stellar navigation to direct the telescope to its viewing positions. Once in position, Chandra can view objects with two cameras that switch places using a mechanism called a translation table. Ball Aerospace in Colorado built the Science Instrument Module, or SIM, and the Aspect Camera for TRW. One of the cameras contained in the SIM is the High Resolution Camera. Built by the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory, this camera is made of two clusters of tiny lead oxide glass tubes, 69 million of them, to give scientists an unequaled view of the universe. The second camera, the Advanced CCD Imaging Spectrometer, or ACES, is capable of recording images of incredible depth. Each one of the six CCDs has greater resolution than high-definition TV. Developed by Penn State University and MIT, the ACES can discern 50 different energy levels. To extend the imaging capabilities even further, MIT and Schron of the Netherlands built diffraction gratings to place in the path of the incoming X-rays. Working like the X-ray equivalent of a prism, these gratings allow scientists to study the energy level to help determine the composition of the X-ray source. Before these observations could be made, the mirrors and instruments needed thorough calibration and tests. That testing was done at the Marshall Space Flight Center's unique X-ray calibration facility from December to May of 1997. We double-checked every element as we built up all the way as optical elements. We made sure we had at least one cross-check, different way of checking it. We did the same thing. At